What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here with Heartletics.com. And today, we're diving into the top five quotes coming from Joe Rogan. Everybody knows who Joe Rogan is. Um, way back in the day, right, he hosted Fear Factor. And uh, if you guys remember Fear Factor, and if you're watching this on YouTube, comment down below that you remember that. I personally loved watching Fear Factor. Uh, he's the UFC commentator. He's also, you know, the biggest podcast ever. You know, the uh, the Joe Rogan experience. Um, little do you know, maybe uh, in case you did or did not know, but he also uh, started Taekwondo at the early age of 15. Now he currently has a black belt in it as well as uh, uh, some good old BJJ, right? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So, you know, he's a true whole martial artist. But regardless, just where he is as an authority figure, where he is in terms of people that he's been like interviewing on his, you know, his podcast – um, he has so much knowledge, so much just hidden wealth inside of him, you know, and uh, we're going to be diving into the top five quotes from Joe Rogan that hopefully can inspire you as it does to me. So number one on the list is if you are the greatest, why would you go around talking about it? And I love that. It just think about that. If you were the greatest, why would you go around talking about it? And this has, at least how I listen to this quote and how I read it, it has like the most in-depth tone of confidence, so to speak. It's really just like the dropping the mic, so to speak. If you're the greatest, why would you go around talking about it? And I think so many times that um, we have to try to prove ourselves, especially as men, right? We have to try to prove who's the, the big dog, right? The alpha dog. And uh, we forget that, you know, there's a lot of um, power when somebody's silent, so to speak. Now, going down the list, the second quote is uh, Joe Rogan said, I had a sense of who I was before I got famous. And I really want you to think about that in terms of just before he blew up, before he get, was ever famous, he knew who he was. Now, maybe that had a you know, factor in terms of his just mindset, goal oriented. Maybe it was just him just from his heart, you know, following his intuition. But they often say that, you know, successful people or success often leaves clues. Really let that be kind of like a golden nugget. He said that, you know, I had a sense of who I was before I got famous. Where do you feel like if you're listening to this, there's an area of your life where Maybe you missed out on the opportunity or maybe you're not going after your goals because you're scared or something like that, you know, but yet something keeps on barking at you, edging you on a little bit saying, hey, try, try, try. Let's go. Let's go. Let's give it another attempt. Think in terms of that. And the next time you're getting that little, you know, that little spark of inspiration or you're thinking about that, think about that quote that Joe Rogan said. I had a sense of who I was before I got famous. I'm not saying like whatever path is, you know, that's egging you on towards your goals is saying that it's going to get you famous by any means, but still, right? Like you have to know, hey, you're worthy. You're deserving. You can do it. You know, you got to feel it. You got to sense it. The next quote is be the hero of your own story. And I talk about this often that as men, you got to lead by example, but you got to understand that so many times when life's throwing you curveballs and you know storms and tragedies and you feel like you're just you know going through one obstacle after another you gotta look in the terms of like your life being kind of like that superhero so to speak like for me personally like my favorite superhero is batman so when he's getting like beat up and everything like this i love seeing the, the comeback story i love seeing how you know him getting knocked down and beat up and you know uh defeated several times he still comes back, still continues to try and try and try. And that's what makes that movie so great. There's a lot of, you know, thrill and suspense to it. So look at the terms of your own life, being the same aspect of like, be the hero of your own story. So, so many times when life's throwing you curveballs, instead of you saying, you know, why me and cry me a river, instead say, try me, say, let's go. I got this, you know. The next quote is, if it's important to you, make time for it. And I mean, you should know that by now. We, we, we shouldn't need Joe Rogan to say that quote for it to kind of hit home for a few you know, guys out there, but I'm sure it does, right? If it's important to you, make time for it. 
what's important to you? And really you just ask that question, like what is important to you? Somebody's probably gonna say their family, okay? Are you making time for it? Are you spending that quality time? Somebody might say their health, it's like, well, okay. Are you eating a bunch of garbage and not working out and not training? It's like, okay, well, your actions speak louder than your words. So it's like, are you making time for it? You know, is it, you know, your finances? Are you making time for it? Does that mean like you're learning more about maybe different, you know, um, income streams and, you know, maybe different business opportunities and different ways on maybe side hustles and learning more about maybe stocks and, you know, mutual funds and whatever the case may be. Like, are you putting time into it? So it's like, ask yourself that. If it's important to you, right, are you making time for it? You need to. And it kind of just shows you also, like, are you worthy of it? You know, if you're not going to put any time to it, how can you, you know, grow something and build something up? And lastly, or the last quote from Joe Rogan that I really admire is, you know, life is too short to be anything but happy. And I mean, just think about that. Hate to say this and hate to, you know, rain on somebody's parade, but you're going to die one day. I'm going to die one day. We're all going to die one day. You're going to be at the end of your deathbed, just like myself. And you're going to have all of these flashbacks, right? These memories, these experiences that you got to go through here, you know, and it's just like, how were those experiences? Do you have a lot of regrets on the things that opportunities that you never took in life? How were the experiences when you were in the, the middle of something, right? Were you actually in the present? Were you focused, spending that quality time with your family and, you know, enjoying those experiences together and really taking ownership of being in the present moment, like right there? Or was it just like, kind of just, you know, I'm there, but not really present. So it's like, as we're now on our deathbed, we don't even have like vivid details of those memories. So these are just things that you just kind of got to ask yourself. Hey, and once again, like this is coming from myself to myself, right? I'm preaching to the choir on this one. So it's just like these quotes, like this last one, right? Life is too short to be anything but happy. And then you start walking yourself down, you know, hey, you're on your deathbed, right? What are your memories? What are your feelings, right? Like, what are your experiences? Are, are they happy? You know, it's just one of these things where at least when I start playing that game, those mind tricks with myself and asking those questions, it's like, okay, let's make sure that everything that we do, let's do it with a happy heart. Everything that we do, like we're doing it from the right place. Everything that we do, like we're doing it because we actually want to, you know, not because we're forced to by any means. So who knows? Maybe you guys got some inspiration. I personally love these quotes. I got a lot of respect for Joe Rogan. I think anybody out there with the name Joe is uh, a, a well-deserved kind of a great guy, you know, so to speak. Hopefully you think the same way. But anyways, um, as always, guys, Coach Joe is here with theheartletics.com. If you happen to like today's episode, do me a favor. Um, share this with a friend. Share this with a family member, you know, loved one, somebody that needs some inspiration on social media maybe. And as always, guys, we'll talk to you next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.